Hi guys, Henry Nil here, your favorite Nigerian tech review guy and today we'll be looking at something a little bit different. Um, it's still in the technology space so yes, I'll be talking about it. And it's this little device here, it's called an OBD2 device. OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics and you find an OBD2 port which this device connects to, you find it on every car, well I'm not really sure of that but almost every car made from 1996 upwards till date you can find an obd port on any of those cars now how does this work um an obd2 device simply connects to um, the obd port on your car which is always found underneath the the dashboard close to where your pedals are um, in most cars so that's where you plug this device in and this device connects via Bluetooth to an app on your phone I've got the Talk Pro app here which I'll be reviewing I'll be showing you how to use this device with later um, so on this device you've got the port here and on the front you just got a power button and you turn on you click on the power button the power light blinks here and then you have to go into your Bluetooth connection on your phone to connect to this device you would see it as OBD2 and the password is usually 0000 or 1234 um, so you have to connect to this device and when you connect to this device there's a little car icon here on on the app um, you can see the car icon over there is black right now so when you're connected to the OBD2 device it changes this icon to white um, or to blue rather to show you that it's actually connected and when you're connected you can now come on here to um, use it to find out what the problem with your car is I'm sure most of you must have seen the check engine lights on your car now with this you can tell what the problem is so if you go into fault code which is where most of you will be interested you can go in here and scan for the fault codes when you're connected to your car or I I've, I've actually saved um, some fault codes here and for my Camry I have two fault codes in here one has to do with the coolant um, thermostat and the other has to do with the catalyst system inefficiency so I know exactly what is wrong with my car I know what needs replacing I don't need to visit a mechanic to tell me oh this is what it is or that or that change this one oh or that this one is shake that one is shaking no it, I know exactly what is wrong I know how much I have to spend to fix the problem so um, I think that's about it um, over here I'm not gonna do much talking indoors um, I think this is a hands-on practical uh, thingy and we're going to go to the car now so I can show you exactly how the OBD2 device works so all right guys here we are um, at the car and I'm going to be showing you where to plug in the OBD2 device this is the OBD2 device here and um, let's go so we're going underneath the dashboard see the SRS bags and we're going somewhere here and that's the OBD port there so I'm going to take this guy and I'm plugging it in here so you can see that so if I push the power button you can see that the device comes on and shows that the power is on but the OBD2 device is not linked yet so let's go to the next part
So one of the first things we need to do um, before we can use the connection between our phone app and the OBD2 device is connecting to the OBD2 device. And we're gonna do that by going into our settings and go into connection, Bluetooth, and turn on your Bluetooth connection. And your phone will scan for the OBD2 device that we've already plugged in and you can see it's already paired. So once we go out of this and we launch the Talk Pro app, which is here, the app will find the car and connect to it. You can see it blinking. And once it's connected, it will be steady. So let's wait for that. Right, good. So now I'm going to turn on the car. Now the car is turning and you can see that the revs are, are moving. So guys, we're back and now we are connected to, to the app and you can see the little blue icon for the car shown up there. Um, so what we want to do is we want to read the fault codes in the app. Um, that's what's stored on the um, car's memory unit. And so I'm going to click on this icon, fault codes there and it's done a good job reading um, what the faults in my car um, are and i can easily click on any one of them and it brings up a pop-up and tells me what the fault is and i can do a web lookup to for to find out what the problem um, with this code is or with the car is so when i do a web lookup it takes me to a website that pretty much gives you a description of what the code is about and what faults are associated with it and um, most of the time these fault codes are general to a lot of cars so you can do a YouTube web lookup to see um, how to fix these problems um, a lot of people have done videos on how to fix problems on lots of codes so you can easily do that um, on YouTube to find out how to fix this yourself or you can take it to a mechanic and tell them exactly what to do while you know them. Um, one more thing you would want to do after fixing the problem in your car you can easily come back to the top pro app and click the three little dots here and you can also click on the clear fault um, ECU codes so when you do that it gives you a little bit of um, information then you can say OK and you click on OK and it does the clearing so it clears the fault codes in the car and when next you start up your car you don't find the check engine um, lights on again mine just went off right now as I did the clear button it just went off right now but that doesn't mean I haven't fixed my problem so it doesn't mean the problem in my car is gone it will still come back after a couple of days to tell me that oh check your engine there's something wrong with it so I have to go fix what exactly what's wrong with the car and and when I fix that and I can do a final clear um, fault code and I know my car is okay the next time that light comes up is when something major again happens so guys thank you for watching this one I'm going to leave links to the apps below and I'll leave links to where I bought my OBD2 device and I hope this has been helpful and um, thanks for watching please click the um, subscribe button below this is henry new your favorite nigerian tech review guy and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out be the one, be the one.